Hey Hot Spotters, I'm Rob from Photography Hotspots. Welcome to my next video photography review or hotspot review. And we've recently had a lot of rain on the New South Wales Central Coast and in Sydney. And what happens when it rains a lot? Well, we get plenty of water in the waterfall. So it's a great time to grab your camera, run out and check out a waterfall. And if you are on the New South Wales Central Coast, in this review, I'm going to be checking out Summersby Falls and it is a fantastic photography location. And hopefully in this video, I'll be able to persuade you to come down here the next time it rains with your camera and take some great photos of a lot of different waterfalls. All right, so it's a couple of weeks later. I've had a chance to play around with some photos and process some of them. So I'm gonna show you some of those photos in just a second and it actually is at the moment as we record this right now raining so I might need to head back to Summersby Falls maybe later on today or tomorrow to capture some more of these great waterfalls but let's talk a little bit more about Summersby Falls as promised I've got plenty to show you guys and talk about now the very very first thing I want to do is just show you where in Australia Summersby Falls is so if you are it's on the New South Wales Central Coast so if you are coming up from Sydney you can see Sydney's here and you'll travel up the M1 and it's just off the M1 actually in an in a, uh, industrial area. So you sort of start driving around all these different factories and, and past some uh, industrial estates and you start to think, oh, gee, where is this Summersby Falls place? But it, uh, it's sort of tucked away in there quite nicely. And it is on, again, New South Wales Central Coast. So it's about, depending on where you're coming from Sydney, you are looking about an hour to an hour and a half drive, or you can come down from Newcastle as well. And you're probably looking at about the same, but it is certainly well worth it. And again, just next to Gosford in a little suburb called Summersby. It's actually next to the Australian Reptile Park too. So you could sort of make a bit of a day of it if you wanted to with the family. All right, the first thing I'd like to show you guys is just a couple little videos. Now, these were taken just on the iPhone. So bear with me, but to give you a bit of information, Summersby Falls is made up of what they sort of say three waterfalls, but I reckon there's a, there's about four or five different waterfalls that you can photograph at Summersby Falls. And one of them which they don't sort of state, which I'll talk to you guys more about in this little review, is awesome. So I'm gonna show you guys plenty of information and photos about that one. But if you were to rock up at Summersby Falls, there's plenty of parking there, although it is paid parking. So you're looking at about $7, I think it is for the day. Now, if you are traveling to Summersby, Summersby Falls, you may wanna try, especially if you're there for photography purposes, you may wanna try and go there in the cooler months because in the summer months, this place is going nuts with people using the, the park because it's a beautiful place. Uh, they do have toilets and barbecue facilities, but it's also a great place to go and cool off in the hot weather. So you can jump into the waterfalls and enjoy the water and you will get a lot of uh, people down there, especially teenagers who go down there and utilize what the park has to offer. I mean, why wouldn't you? It is a beautiful place. But again, saying that if you are looking to do some photos, I highly recommend going down there in the cooler months. And again, if you can, if at all way, by possibility, if you can, you may want to try and get there during the week as well. Now, again, it's made up of three different waterfalls that they tell you about. So the very, very first one, you sort of walk from the car park and it's about a two minute walk. It's very, very easy to get to. You have the top falls, okay? Probably as a photographer, there's not much there to see, okay? It's what they call this one here, the middle waterfall, which is actually quite a big, big waterfall. And then you've got the bottom waterfall, which where is where a lot of photographers go to. And then the other the other waterfall, which I'll tell you guys about, is actually down past that. And a lot of people I don't actually think know about it. A lot of the locals will, but a lot of people, because again, it's not signpost or clearly marked. Uh, a lot of people don't know about it. So let me just quickly show you. This is a, this is the what they class as the middle waterfall, but I would sort of count this as being the top one. Um, and again, this may be a little bit hard to comprehend unless until you go there and then you'll actually see what I mean. So the top waterfall's up the top here. Again, very easy to get to from the car park. You will walk down a few flights of uh, stairs. They're quite easy um, and quite well made. So you'll get down to here. And this is actually, the video doesn't do it justice, but it is actually quite a big waterfall, although maybe a little bit hard to photograph. So... Yeah, uh, that's the, the the middle waterfall as they call it. And it is 
quite a nice spot but again in summer you will get a lot of people in the water here using that. And then I have – this is the one that they call the bottom waterfall and this is where a lot of people go to actually take their photos. And again, we did have a lot of water pumping through these. So always best to go after rain. We had a lot of water pumping through these. And what you'll actually do is if you do visit this waterfall here, you'll actually come down a flight of stairs which is just on our, our right here just off camera and you've got all these waterfalls here. Now, again, this video is a bit deceiving because you, you can actually sort of walk up here. There's actually quite a bit of a platform where you can get closer to this waterfall that you see up there. And then it sort of goes around. And to get to the next waterfall and the waterfall that they don't actually mark, you sort of walk down this area here. And it is something that you do have to be careful of. There's it can be very, very slippery getting to this waterfall, which I'm about to show you guys. Uh, and again, there's no clear, clearly defined path. So there, while there is some paths that are quite well worn, there will be a lot of times when you're sort of jumping over, you know, tree stumps or underneath tree stumps or, you know, navigating rocks to try to get to this bottom waterfall. It shouldn't take you too long to get to this one. Uh, you're probably looking at about five minutes if you're moving quite quick, 10, 15 minutes if you're a bit slower. And I don't know if I'd attempt it if you do have some ailment that sort of hinders you a little bit with your mobility. But this is the bottom waterfall and this video won't do it justice. I'll show you some, some photos that I have in a second. But the great thing about this waterfall is that you can actually get in under here and take some photos and this is a massive massive waterfall uh, and it's certainly by by far my favorite waterfall to visit and again there's just a, a, a lot of different places where you can set up your tripod and camera and take some great composition so that being said let me show you the photos that I've taken so this photo here is of the bottom waterfall okay not my bottom waterfall but their bottom waterfall uh, I haven't actually got any photos of the middle or top waterfalls. Um, so this is the bottom waterfall. This is where a lot of photographers will come and take photos. And then the other three that I've got, which I'll show you, are of the very bottom waterfall. So you'll probably notice this composition from the video you just saw. Uh, I was lucky enough, I sort of went mid-morning. So early to mid-morning and got the sun sort of coming down over the waterfall. And then we've got this one here sort of shooting sort of front on at the very, very last waterfall. And then the last one, last photo I've got to show you guys is from actually underneath that waterfall. And um, yeah, and you actually can see sort of, you sort of come down quite a steep set of the stairs that are just there and you arrive at this location here. So you can then come under here and take photos pointing back this way or again from here pointing down with the waterfall being there. But again, guys, just be cautious because it is very, very slippery and I have actually sort of slipped over there. Um, probably wasn't my own fault because actually a dog had slipped down so I was trying to help him out, uh, not mine, somebody else's. Um, but you do have to be very, very careful with your footing. And again, I probably wouldn't attempt to get to this waterfall if you do struggle to, with your mobility. But hopefully what you can see from these photos is just how good this photography location is. I mean, if you love your, lands, sorry, your landscape but also your waterfall photography, you are certainly going to want to come down and check out this, especially if you are close to the New South Wales Central Coast. So if you live in Newcastle, you live on the Central Coast, or you live in Sydney, it is well worth driving up for this location. But again, just be mindful. If you do want to come up in summer, you will find it to be quite busy. I mean, I went on a, I got these ones during the day on a, on a, like a, a weekday, so a school day, and it was quite early in the morning, but there's still there were still photographers here, and I did have to wait for them to leave before I could sort of get a shot that I wanted. Um, but in saying that, they may not have known about this bottom waterfall because I didn't see them make the track down there. So Summersby Falls, guys, is a fantastic photography location. Now, there is a review up on Photography Hotspots if you'd like to find out more about it. This was left by Paul H. So thank you very, very much, Paul. He gave it a 10 out of 10 and I think it's certainly up there. It began, Because, again, it is quite easy to access the top couple of waterfalls, um, and there's parking and all that sort of stuff and you have such a variety of waterfalls that you can actually take a photo of. 
it really is a photographer's paradise. Again, the only drawback is that if you want to go all the way down to the bottom, it's not clearly marked and you may or may not struggle to get down there. Um, and it's, it, I mean, it's a very, very popular location because it's such a beautiful location. Uh, and it's also interesting to see different photos taken by somebody else as well. So you can check them out here. And Paul has done a lot of uh, information here, which is fantastic. And it was what we love to see when it comes to finding out about great Australian photography locations. So that is pretty much it. That's for Summersby Falls. Again, get down there and check it out. It is a fantastic photography location and a place well worth checking out after we've had a bit of rain in Sydney. Visit photographyhotspots.com.au and share your favourite photography locations today.